Okay, you know there's a hidden snake game in Spotify? Go to any playlist, tap the three dots, and if you scroll to the end, you'll find Eat the Playlist. It plays the song you'll be chasing, and once you eat one, it goes to the next song and on until you hit the wall. Pretty cool. In one of my previous videos, I've talked about why Apple Music is better than Spotify, but I've heard your cries, so here are nine more reasons why Spotify is better than Apple Music. Spotify is free. You don't really need a subscription to stream music, but if you want to control what you listen to, skip songs, or download them, you need Spotify Premium. I would have given this high praise but Spotify decided to knock down their free tire a lot more in the recent years. Thankfully, a premium subscription is not that much but if you don't want to pay, you still get access to a huge catalogue of music if you wish to listen to them in shuffle mode forever and hear some cringy ads along with it. Speaking of catalogue, yes, both Apple Music and Spotify have the same amount of songs. Apart from exclusive releases and live radio on Apple Music, there is generally a lot more indie and remixes of your favourite songs. You will most likely find that one one remix of Never Gonna Give You Up on Spotify than Apple Music. Okay, the catalog is great, but how are you gonna find the music? Well, Spotify has the best music recommendation algorithm compared to any of the big players. I still rely on Spotify for new music because their recommendations are really good. I find songs that I've never heard before and it closely matches my taste in music very well. I don't know what kind of wizardry Spotify is pulling, but even their playlists are by far the best. Daily mixes, release radar, peace mode, and so much more. These are all tailor-made for you by an algorithm, but it's insanely good. I wouldn't be surprised if Spotify came up with some GPT-style music bot which recommends music based on instruments, vibes, or beats. They have all the data for it and I'm probably throwing out an idea for them. But it gets even better. You see, Spotify isn't about you and your music. Spotify also creates these unique playlists based on what you and your friends listen to. They call it Blend and I find this to be their best feature. Because I'm pretty sure you've been in this situation where both you and your friend have the same music taste and often share songs to each other. Instead of doing that, this playlist combines your daily listens and your friend's daily listens into one playlist and also adds in a blend story where it talks about how much percentage of the same taste both of you have and what's that one song that brings both of you together. And this doesn't stop there. You can have multiple people in your blend and the stories get crazier. It compares who you have the closest match with and who you have the least match with in terms of music, okay? I hope this feature doesn't start some war. Moving on, Spotify also has group sessions where you and your friends can listen to the same song, add songs in the queue and control playback. This is amazing as a social tool. And as a bonus, even though Spotify and Apple Music do show what your friends are listening to, on desktop, Spotify has a live friend activity dashboard where you can collectively see what all your friends are listening to. Seeing all these social features really leads me to believe Spotify can make a social media platform and everyone would use it. Again, throwing out an idea for them. And a subtle channel will be spot on, just like Spotify. Anyways, we're on the race to hit 100k subs by the end of this year, so make that happen. Trust me, Rick Astley won't give you up. Adding to that social media stuff, let's talk about Spotify rap. This has been going on since 2016 and it's such a hit. What it does is it takes your top 5 artists of the year, the top 5 songs you've listened to that year, and your favourite genre overall. Over the years, they've added some crazy stuff too, like showing the amount of minutes you've listened to that year, quizzes, internet flags, and very recently, video message from your favourite artist. Every December, Spotify rap just takes over the internet with everyone posting their rap stories at the same time. Apple Music has something similar called Replay but it's nowhere close to Spotify rap. And something I'm surprised Spotify has but not Apple Music is continuity. You can be listening to a song on your laptop and control it from your phone. Or your toaster has Spotify support and that controls your music on your phone. But it's not just that. You could continue listening to a song you heard on your laptop or your phone. Why isn't continuity there on Apple Music? Apple is the one who always talks about their cool continuity features. Where is music control? Apple, I hinted the next one. Spotify runs on anything. Your phone, laptop, TV, PS5, probably a smart fridge, whatever. Spotify is on a lot more platforms than Apple Music. And that advantage trickles down where a lot of apps use your Spotify data and come up with some cool things. Obscurify compares your music taste with other people in your area. Receptify takes your top songs and transforms them into a cool looking receipt. Even though there are some things that are similar to this for Apple Music as well, Spotify has a broader support. So it just works. Which brings me to my last one. Spotify has the best payment plans for their premium subscription. It has all your basic student, individual, family plans, but also a duo plan where you could split Spotify with just another person. Or in countries like India, you could get Spotify for a day or a week and it's pretty cheap. It's like three pennies for Spotify. And even if your plan expires or you don't want to pay for a certain month, you still have access to everything because Spotify is free. Watch this video to find out why Apple Music is better than Spotify or watch this to find out why I stopped using the iPhone.